So you've been knitting for a while and you're ready to invest in your first set of interchangeable circular needles. But when you go to search on the internet, you find that there are sets with all sorts of different materials, types, needle tip lengths and cord features. This video aims to demystify some of these criteria and to drill down into what exactly it is that you need when you are purchasing your first interchangeable needle set. It is a very personal choice, so we're going to go through your options under a couple of different headings, namely needle materials, needle tip lengths, cable qualities and lengths, and what your options are when you want to knit small circumferences. Then we have a little tip at the end on the best way to try out different styles and types before you commit to buying your full set. First of all, let's talk about your choice of materials. I'm going to focus here on wood and metal options. Interchangeable sets are available in acrylic or plastic finishes, but they tend to be quite grippy and possibly aren't the best investment for the longer term, because as you gain experience, you will want to move on to wood or metal tips. If you'd still like a hint of grip, then why not opt for a wooden needle set? Modern production methods mean that wooden needles are now smooth and pleasant to use, and there's no risk really of splits or splinters that you might have encountered in older style knitting needles. They're generally laminated or waxed too, so you should get a nice smooth knitting experience. The tips on these wooden needles are pointy without being sharp, so they're not likely to split your stitches in a hurry either. If you suffer at all with pains in your hands, then wood needles are also a really good option. They're just that little bit warmer and more gentle to use than the metal options. Metal is the other most common option for your interchangeable needle tips, and we can then subdivide this category into aluminium and steel needles. Both these needle types offer a smooth and speedy knitting experience. Your stitches should glide pretty effortlessly from tip to tip. Now that said, if you're a tight knitter, then definitely stay tuned for another bonus tip on how to make your knitting life a little easier when working in the round. Of the options we stock, Knit Pro Zings are aluminium needles. They're handily colour coded and they have a more rounded tip than the steel options that we stock. They also have a shorter taper from the point of the tip to the full width of the needle tip itself. The steel options are either the Mindful Collection from Knit Pro or what we would call the Rolls Royce of knitting needles, the Twist Lace sets from Chowgoo. Both these styles have quite a sharp tip and a longer taper, so they're quite useful for working more complex stitches. If you want to do a knit three together through the back loop, then these are definitely your friends. A quick thing to remember though, is to still form your stitches over the widest part of the needle itself. If you work too close to the needle tip here, then that's just gonna wreak all sorts of havoc with your tension. So not only can you choose between the material that your needle tips are made out of, but you can purchase interchangeable needle sets in two different lengths of tips, generally your main needle sets. In this case, we're talking about um, in and around a four inch tip uh, on the shorter side, so about 10 centimeters, or a five inch tip or approximately 12 and a half, 13 centimeters on the longer or sometimes considered the more standard size. There is minor variances between the brands, but for ease, we'll go with four inch and five inch. Why would you choose one over the other? Well, it might depend on your knitting style. How do you hold your needles? Do you need more length to sit in the crook of your hands? Do you want more needle to generally hold onto and grip um, as you work? Or are you happy to work on a shorter tip when that might allow you to create smaller circumferences with the knitting needle set that you have? So while all brands are supplying shorter and shorter cords these days, it's important to remember that these shorter cords can only be used with progressively shorter tips. There just isn't the flexibility to make it work any other way. Then you have your cables. So within your basic interchangeable needle sets, um, each brand supplies its own style of tightening pin with their cables. Assembly is simply a matter of screwing the tips onto the cord and then popping the tightening pin through the hole on the cord connector. This pin plays the role of holding the cable part steady while you give the needle tip one last firm twist to make sure that it's fully tightened. On the wooden needle tips, we do recommend gripping the metal base for this part rather than putting stress on the wood tip itself. The join between the cables and needle tips for both brands are smooth and stitches should flow easily from the cords to the tips without the need to stop and kind of push things along. If you don't find that that's the case, then our little bonus tip for tighter knitters might be just the thing for you as well. 
Before we get into cable types, I do want to highlight that Nipro and Chogu have a different method for listing their cable lengths. For Nipro, cables are sold as the length of the entire circular needle, the length that it will be when the needle tips are connected. And this presumes that you're connecting their longer or more standard needle tips rather than their shorter special four inch length ones. In contrast, Chogu cables are sold by the exact length of the cable in the pack itself. Nipro cords fit every needle tip size between 3mm all the way up to 15mm. Nipro then don't manufacture a needle tip lower than 3mm. Um, at that point you have to go into fixed circular needles for the smaller sizes. Chaogu have three different cord thicknesses. You can get mini, small and large cables and they connect to various size needle tips. But they do also sell adapters, so you can connect a small needle tip to a mini cable or a large needle tip to a small cable. I personally love the mini cable for the magic loop technique, and I would shy away from the large cable generally as it's a bit more rigid than the others, but that's not a deal breaker if you're knitting a simple tube like a sweater body. If all that was not enough to process, both brands now offer swivel cables, which allow your tips to pivot and turn while you are working. This can be a bit more of an ergonomic experience as there's less pull on your hands as you work. And it can also make the magic loop technique just a little easier to do. The mindful sets from Nipro come with swivel cables as standard and currently Chaogu have swivel cables available to buy separately. Some feedback we've had on these cords suggests that there is a bit of coaxing to be done of stitches over this swivel connection and it might be less suitable for thinner yarns. Just on a visual inspection, there's a bit more of a bump on the Chaogu connection here than on the Nipro, but neither of them are very pronounced. It might be worth getting one of the swivel cables and trying it out with your own style of knitting before committing to a full set. So this leads us on to the first of our bonus tips, which I do need to credit Maureen from our team for. And that is that if you're undecided and are curious about trying out an interchangeable needle set, pick up a tip size that does not come in those full sets. So as much as they're called a full set, there's always one that isn't featured. For Knit Pro, that's a 3.5 millimeter tip. And for Chaogu, that's three millimeters. This way, when you discover which set is right for you, then you won't end up with duplicate tips within that. Just before we get into bonus tip number two, I did promise you a short discussion on your options for knitting small circumference projects such as socks or sleeves. Your options really here are twofold. One is use completely different needle styles and types, or to use the needles that you have in your set. I am a lifetime magic loop knitter. It is a technique that allows you to use longer cables to make smaller pieces. And I just love having that option with the needles that I have on hand. That said, short circular needles, ones that are custom made for small circumferences are really growing in popularity lately and they might be something that you want to give a try. Double pointed needles, of course, are always an option too. As with most of our other advice here, really the key is trying it out, finding your own style and seeing what works best for you. And bonus tip number two, aimed at all the tighter knitters out there, but it can also be useful no matter where your tension lies on the spectrum. And that is that when you knit, your stitch tension is always formed on the needle that you wrap the yarn around. So when knitting in the round, that is always the same needle. You never switch hands in that process. And you can use this to your advantage. If you opt for a smaller needle tip in your left hand, then your stitches are going to flow more easily from that tip and you'll have an overall more pleasant knitting experience. So who wouldn't want that? I hope you found this video useful. Please do share your thoughts in the comments below. We always love to hear from you. And in the meantime, please like this video, subscribe to our channel, and we will see you next time for more tips, tricks, and advice.